Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So tonight I get to review this fella, Tangled. So basically, as far as I know, because I haven't read all the it's Tangled Foot, but uh, double brewed, basically. Uh, I may be wrong, obviously. Just double checking. I can't read the writing on the back. <clears throat> so it's 5.2%. Double hot IPA. Let's have a go. So Badger Brewery. You know, they do make some iconic beers. Uh, Tanglefoot used to be a proper favourite of mine years ago. The last time I had it, I didn't, I, must, I didn't have a great experience with it. It was okay. It just wasn't, you know, outstanding as it was. Um, Thirsty Ferret, Opping Hair, uh, the Cranbourne Poacher, which was Poacher's Choice. Amazing beer. Blanford Flyer. Uh, is it called Blanford Fly now? God knows, I, I lose track with some of these name changes. Golden Champion, obviously, a very good beer. Golden Glory, sad that it's been uh, demoted to the ranks of not brewed anymore. So, Amber Poor, very much like Tanglefoot, really. Whitehead on the nose. I get like a farmer's field on the nose, which is ever so weird. There's a hoppiness, but there's definitely some... Like a farmyard aroma to it. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Let's dive in. Oh, I didn't expect that on the taste. Hoppy. Very citrusy. But not citrusy, craft beer citrusy, bottled beer citrusy. What we've got to remember is, and obviously this is just me talking, so I'm, I'm no expert. But um, uh, the craft stuff that you get in cans is very different. When, when, when I talk citrusy about that, it really is full on. This is citrusy, but more in a malty way, more in a traditional way. Yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad. Flipping out, I'm going into full on review mode here. Very very much a pub beer in my respect, in my, you know, it is bottled. Most bottled beers, shall we say, most bottled beers are uh, the sort of more leaning more towards traditional beer drinkers than they are towards the craft beer generation. You only have to look on supermarket shelves to see that as well. No, it's not just me talking at me, me bottom, as it were. Mm. Intriguing little fella. Um, interesting. Yes, yeah, definitely interesting. So, it's not trying to be a craft beer. It doesn't need to be, really. What it's trying to do is 
See, the thing with a lot of craft beers, they come and go. The, um, you look on supermarket shelves, and we'll talk supermarket rather than actual breweries, um, brewery shops. Supermarket shelves, the bottled stuff tends to last a hell of a long time. The tins tend not to. Tend to be um, chopped and changed quite often. Tesco's, my God. Every three or four months, they're changing their craft beer range. And, uh, you know, a lot of it's unrecognisable from a year ago, which is sad, really, because you get, you get to drink something that you really like, and it's gone. And, um, yeah, it is. Um, whereas with the bottled <laughs> stuff, a lot, a lot of the bottled range, um, it does tend to last for years, you know, you... you it's not churned as much as the craft stuff. <clears throat> now, bored you silly. Let's get on with the drink. Oh. So the weather today. Foggy as hell this morning. Uh, temperatures ran, rose. It's like 12, 13 degrees outside. It's ever so mild for this time of the year. And it's nice, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's raining again, which is a bit of a ball ache, but, you know, um, at, least it's, uh, at least it's warm. Uh, saves the eating being on so much, or at least the eating goes on, warms the ass up, comes off quicker. You know, for a second, looked at my eyebrows, like someone painted my eyebrows on. None of that stuff. Oh, dear. So, went to sleep last night. I was a good lad last night. Did not overdo it on the beer. Did a beer review. Came off. Went upstairs. Couldn't sleep. Could not bloody sleep. Night before. Had some of the prune juice wine. Had two beers, prune juice wine. No food. Fell asleep early. Pissed out of my head. And uh, woke up at four in the morning. But I'd eight, I'd eight hours, so I couldn't really fault, miss, fault it, really. But last night, no. If I had three hours sleep last night, I've done well. So, oh, yeah, maybe tonight I'll get some kip. And uh, it's that balance of, um, you know, I could go down the tablet route and have sleeping tablets, but I don't want to. I don't like to sleep. I don't like tablets anyway at the best of times. Uh, the only thing I take tablets for is a fever and prickly heat because I suffer with prickly heat and that's something I can't get rid of. All year round I take a fever tablets just because I start itching. I never even knew it was a thing. I always thought it was the washing up liquid, uh, washing up powder, but no, it was a thing. It's a... But, uh, you know, these trying to get to sleep at night, people have the, or people do what they do to get to sleep. Insomnia is not getting sleep is a bad thing. So you either take sleeping tablets, you try and fall asleep early. But, you know, sometimes if you suffer with anxiety and stress, the more you try, the more you get frustrated and the more you don't sleep. So then you look at the tablet or the beer route and sometimes drinking beer does not work either. You know, last night, I, had, in the end, I succumbed. I had two pints of beer, and I think the second pint of strawberry star actually did the trick. It helped. So I've got some more bottles that I need to clear out anyway. You know, I need to get rid of old stock. Primarily because I've got a load of decent new stock coming. I mean, I've got the American Oak Aged Rum Ale, which is... Uh, oh, oh. And I've got my Barola. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. And also, at Christmas, I've, got, I've already got a kit off the wife. And I may treat myself to um, that kit off Love Brewing. The um, <clears throat> the £40 beer kit, the most expensive beer kit uh, that's widely available in the UK. Um, it's like a precursor to a proper grain kit, really, but it's got so many different ingredients in so it'll be a challenge to actually brew the bleeder. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to actually read the instructions on that one. Right. Better not to 
too long. Don't get a bollock enough to lie. I'm in good books at the moment, so <clears throat> better to stay in good books. I mean, to be fair, I'm never really, really in bad books. I get the odd moan at and that, but uh, you know, not to the stage where we're going to leave each other's route like that. You know, it's it's a bit of the red card's a red card. It's like a, a, a bit of a bollocking. It's not a, it's not anything more serious than that. So we've never had anything like that, you know, in all our time of being married. Um, luckily enough, and it's raining again. Lovely weather. So going down well for me, very much a. A traditional beer that's very strong on good on hops, but without being too strong. Same on the IPA side. It's very much a traditional IPA rather than an in-your-face craft beer IPA. Oh, got some twang in the back end as well. So twice tangled. Yes, um, and I, I can't remember for the life of me if it is supposed to be a tangled foot on steroids. I, I presume the tangled means that anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I did like uh, a tangled foot was one of my favourite beers years ago. I was ever so excited when it came in on in cans. Um, last time I drank it, I didn't have the greatest experience that I had before. But sometimes you get that with all beers. You, you sometimes you drink a beer and you think, "Oh, I didn't rate it this time." And then you drink it again, you think, yay, back to being the top beer it was. So, you know, it's not always a thing to take a beer on the first pint you drink. Which is why trying to get the positives out of every beer you drink, or lager, cider, wine, etc. Try and get the positives, you know. Um, so, for me, um, out of five then, hmm. Intriguing. Um, the, the aroma at the start was quirky. I don't know what was going off there. A farmyard aroma. I'm not joking. It was a bit different. But it, it as it ch changed, as it evolved through the pint. So, I don't know. I don't know what was going off. Um, it turned out to be a very palatable IPA. Very palatable beer. Good pub beer. Nice to have it on draft in the pub. Be interesting. Um, out of five, for me, 4.2 out of five. <sighs> and that's it for this beer review. Uh, no more tonight. I don't <laughs> get bollocking. Uh, thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers.